Oh no, we're extinct. It's time to play some Dino Crisis. We're going to be trying this out for an hour. Dino Crisis is a survival horror game from Capcom from the 90s. Just about the end of the 90s, actually. PlayStation uh, version of this, the first the original version of the game, came out uh, in July of 99. And uh, this is a game, it basically, as far as I know, my impression of Dino Crisis was always, it's Resident Evil, but Jurassic Park is popular, so, you know... Two great tastes, taste great together. That's my impression of what this game is, even though I've never actually played the game. Um, we're going to be trying this out, like I said. Just see how it is. Uh, why are we playing this now? Well, you know, it's good every now and again to remember the franchises that Capcom doesn't bring back. They, Capcom makes plenty of remakes and bring back, brings back old franchises. Here's one that they don't. Here's one that they just kind of never did. They're going to start a game. Uh, if you're wondering, the version of the game I'm playing is on PC. That's not to say you can actually buy this off Steam or anything. This is just like an old PC release uh, that's been modded to work on modern PCs. Uh, I'm going to play an original game. Eh, let's, let's try normal. Let's see how that goes. And we can change costumes. We kind of army type, battle type. What about ancient type? You want to be a, a Flintstones character? Yeah. You have mail. The second report from military experiment facility. Agent name, Tom. I have successfully infiltrated under the guise of a researcher as planned. I have encountered no information regarding top secret development of new type weapons. But I have discovered there is an unexpected individual at this facility. The man is Dr. Kirk, the leading authority of our nation's energy research. Dr. Kirk was alleged to have died in an accident during the course of an experiment three years ago. The reports were premature and it appears that he is currently working as the head of a non-weapon project at this facility. The experiment is in the late stages of development. Regarding the staged accidental death, it appears that this country is somehow involved. Recommending that necessary actions be taken immediately. Refer to the data on Dr. Kirk. Operation Instructions. Time. Let's move out. What about Cooper? Forget him. Time's up. Wait! Wait!
Okay. This is the first checkpoint. Playtime is officially over, kiddies. Something's wrong. The lights in the guardhouse are out. Um, maybe this has been a wild night of partying for the guards. You know, a little song, a little dance. Stay here, Junior. Leave the guards to me. H hey, did you hear what he just called me? Forget about it. Just let Gail handle this. All right. It's clear. Okay, let's do this. I'll infiltrate the facility and occupy the control room on the first floor. I should have access to all the security systems from there. I'll contact you as soon as I've cleared the room. All right, gameplay has begun, and we've already lost a team member. It was four, and now it's down. the inside of the facility on his own. All right, this is the wrong way. So it looked like the mission said that we had to find Dr. Kirk, but it also said Dr. Kirk was dead. Let me guess. This is some of your handiwork, right? Hmm. The brass is still warm. These guards were shooting at something very recently. So who were they fighting? This wasn't much of a fight. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced and diced. Whatever they were shooting at came in through there, and ripped right through the steel fence. Well, the hole is nice and clean. But I still say you could have done this. Very funny. We still need to figure out what happened here. Continue to sweep the area. He'll be examining this. He's checking the ground. Yeah, I can see that. There's so much information about the bullets. He needs to figure it all out and so I will go off on my own can I pick that up oh no okay that's on the other side of the fence okay I should probably just check this is running okay pointing the gun that's a three uh, 180 turn that's a pause okay sub screen just make sure that we have the controls right so you know basically Resident Evil style controls is this a door I need the backup generator room key to open that door. Can I go through this door? I can. Okay, time to sweep the area. So fancy, we actually see the playable character going through the door. Next gen is here. I got the BG area key. The words backup generator area ground level are carved into it. That's a lot of words for that small key. Is there a way to get that up there? Push this. Good. Good push. Not, not that. Nope, not that. Will I take the pack? I will take the pack. Pack has been taken. Is there anything else we should be examining? Nothing useful. Doesn't seem to be operational. You have this little forklift in this little room. Can't get it out, though. I mean, if we could get that forklift out, then we'd be in business. Oh, can we examine this? It's been ripped apart with great force. Wrong key. I should leave the inside to Rick. Rick can take care of it. Rick here. I'm in. The place is deserted, though. I have a very bad feeling about this. How's the progress going with that security system? 
don't know what's been going on here, but it looks like all the power in this facility has been cut. Same here. As long as that's the situation, there's not a lot I can do. Why don't you see if you can gain access to the backup generators on the ground level? I'm on it. What are you doing here? I caught the last part of your conversation. By the way, I found a key. Hand it over. Let's head outside. I thought we were outside. Ooh, we have some real-time camera movement. Fancy. That's disgusting. <laughs> this guy's been eviscerated. Something tore his intestines straight out. Look at those tooth marks. It had to be some sort of animal. Okay, let's move on. What kind of animal could be out here that could do such a thing? Will I take the anade? Yes. Increases the potency of items with anesthetic properties. So apparently we can mix items together to make them better items. I don't really know how it works, but maybe we'll find out. Hello. I'll stand guard here. You go inside and take a look around. Yep, you stand guard in this just empty outdoor area. I will take this the safe job of examining what's inside the unknown building. Don't worry, he's got this outside area all covered. A battery charger. If I set the battery here, I can charge it. Do I have a battery to charge? I don't think I do. Does not seem like I have a battery. But if I do have a battery... Emergency backup power device reminder. Use the device to automatically set the batteries. Always remember to keep the batteries charged. If I, if I actually do get a battery, this will be very useful. There are three buttons. Which button will I press? Enough of that. And here's some levers. Oh, I need red, blue, green, white. All right, let's give that a try. Let's get red over to the left. Now blue over to the left. And then flip these. All right, let's try that again. We turn something on. Can I see what it is? A power distribution device that distributes electricity to the various areas of the facility. Well, turning the power on sounds like it would be useful. Gale? Oh, he's just having a good time firing off his gun into the sky the way he does. You know that, Gale. Such a kidder.
Dino. This Dino is making me have a crisis. Oh, I don't. I guess I don't auto aim. As a uh, Resident Evil game from the time might have done. There we go. Even has the uh, the pool of blood spreading out after you kill it to make sure that it's dead. I cannot seem to stomp it, though. You always want to stomp it, just to make sure. Well, we're suspecting that Gale got pushed out through this fence. Poor Gale. Let's take a look at our health. We probably could use a med pack. Stops the bleeding, what will not recover. Oh, do we have, like, a bleeding stat? Hold on, let me see. Can we see that? Oddly, on this subscreen, I don't notice, like, a, a health meter or anything. Also, when I hit a button to go back on the on the screen, I just go right back to the gameplay. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Hmm. Well, I mean, clearly from our stance, she is hurt. But I don't see, like, a health thing or anything. I'll just take one of these. There we go. Feeling fine. Our dino crisis is over. It's ended. We have resolved it. Oh, I should probably see how much ammo do I, do I have. Three out of 34. Okay. Oh. No, this is just... No, no, this is a different one, is it? This is not the same position anyway. In any case, I can't seem to interact with it. All right, well, what, now we know what the crisis is being caused by. It's being caused by dinosaurs. What well, the question is going to be... Good news. What? I got the control system back online. What's the situation over there? Bad. It's Gale. I lost him. <laughs> so what's the bad news? Did you run into some guards? You're not going to believe this. He was attacked by some kind of dinosaur. <laughs> That's a good one. So, who was it? Barney? This isn't a joke, you idiot. We were just attacked by a big-ass lizard. For real? What's going on over there? Uh, all right. Head over to the control room and we'll sort out this whole situation. I mean, to be fair, I guess I wouldn't believe her either if she said that she had just been attacked by a dinosaur. It's, uh, understandable. And he might not have believed that. Office ahead, main entrance. Oh, can I read anything on the bulletin board? A notice is posted. 10 o'clock a.m., Dr. Kirk's lecture. The future of the stabilizer. Door's locked. Well, I hope you run into Dr. Kirk. I'm sure Dr. Kirk is using science in a responsible manner. There's a ventilation opening. I believe that I can reach it by climbing. Do I want to climb? I suppose so. I mean, I guess we can't go through those lasers. It's a good thing there's a rope hanging from... Oh, do I have, like, a grappling hook? Is that part of my equipment? I think I should have shot a grappling hook, maybe. These devices seem to control the power distribution of this facility. Mm, yeah, elevator, okay. Could go down there. What's around here? So two places we can drop down, I guess. 
I guess it's not going to tell me any description of what might be down there. Okay, let's give it a try. All right, the management office sounds like a good place to be. Yep. Oh, pump action shotgun by L. Frenchy. Is that a Is that what that is? Is that a shotgun? I'm like looking at it saying it it's like part of the dinosaur costume, right? It looks like a bone strapped to a piece of wood. It's got to be part of the dinosaur costume. I would assume. I mean, I can't really tell it from the character, from the, the actual in-game model, but I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure that has to do with the dinosaur costume. Okay. Ooh, an MO disc. High technology. Collect the code disc with the same mark and set both parts into the door. We got DDK input disc H. Something seems to be inside the cardboard box. All right, we got the plug. Used for red, green, and yellow boxes. We all know what you use plugs for. It's for we know we it's only for the red, green, and yellow boxes. You don't use it for any other kind of box. Computer has not been turned on. I guess we are, we don't have the option to do that. Oh no! Panel key to Leo. Panel that can un unlock an electronic lock. A medal and three symbols are carved into the panel. He has been gouged in the torso. It's locked. There's a panel on the door to release the lock, but it isn't working now. Oh, that's not what. There we go. Personal property of the guardsman. Nothing useful here. The guard rotation schedule is posted here. I guess no information for us there. A switch. I will press it. Oh, good. On the screen is an email titled, New Employee Education. Oh, tell me about the orientation. Will I read the email? Please inform the new employee assigned to this department about the DDK system as follows. The digital disk key, or DDK, is a system that secures our most important areas with an advanced locking device. To release the locks protected by the DDK, prepare and set the following two data disks at the following device near the door. DDK code disk X, DDK input disk X. The type of the DDK you need is indicated on the door, A, B, etc., if the DDK type you use does not match, you cannot release the lock. Before operating the system, make sure that your DDK type matches the door you wish to unlock. All right, and that's our key tutorial. Will I save my progress? Sure. If the game is asking me, it's probably a good idea to do that. All right. Here. Oh, there you go. Hello. I keep forgetting the no auto aim. Very used to that in this kind this kind of game. Uh oh. I don't think I have any. Oh no! I knocked my shotgun away. It appears I do not have any ammo in this shotgun. But I probably still want to pick that back up. Hanging on the door. But I got DDK code disk H. Okay, so I have the two things. They're both labeled H. Oh no, it can open doors! Yes, we all remember. It was a very big thing in Jurassic Park when the raptor was able to open the door. They're so intelligent. Takes more than one shot for it to work. And Dart S. 
Oh, that's... Yeah, that seems pretty hurt. Let's see. Push the switch. Nothing happened. Still nothing happened. Oh, I'm bleeding. I'm leaving droplets of blood. Well, there's no health meter, but I, I guess at least there's like a visual indicator that something is wrong. So I guess I can use the hemostat. And now I am done bleeding. Well, at the very least, I have the two H's. Sure. Interesting that the save points are the doors. Just some of the doors. Not all the doors. Uh, well, I guess we don't need to go back up there just yet. By the way, what do I have? Oh. Don't have a gun equipped. Let's do that. No, not that. This. Just to make sure. Yeah. Need to find some shells. Oh, hold on. No, that's more ammo for the handgun, which is fine. What's our status? This security system is a snap for me. Real amateur stuff. So, what exactly happened to Gale? You said that he was attacked by a dinosaur? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I just hope he's still alive. Anyway, our first priority is to complete the mission. What we ought to do is just call in the chopper and get off this death trap. That's a great idea, but Cooper has the radio, and he's missing. Hey, what's with this monitor? That's the security monitor for the underground area. The camera's offline. So I take it that means power still hasn't been restored to the area? Exactly. They must have that area wired to a different power system than the ground level. We can investigate that area. After we finished our sweep of the ground level. Okay, then I'll take care of the shutters that are blocking the way. You work your way in, grab the dock, and then rendezvous back here. All right. We can't leave the island because the guy who had the radio was that fourth guy who got killed by the T-Rex. Unfortunately, we did not all bring a radio with us. Well, that's something to learn for next time, I guess. An ID card's required. Yeah, these are these are not ID cards. These are input and code disks. I don't have what's needed. Yeah. Now, what I want to know is where those things are coming from. Yeah, we know that there are dinos, but we don't know why they're here or where they're coming from. But they surely have nothing to do with mad science. I think we can all agree on that. I can store med medical supplies in the emergency box, but I need the plug to open it. Well, I do have a plug. I guess I'll use it. Okay, so there's stuff in the box. And I can carry five items. Recovery aid. Select mix icon on the subscreen before use. Maybe free up a couple of slots. Yeah. 
nothing's happening. So I've restored some of the power. I need to restore all of the power. Restoring the power is a pretty common objective in one of these games, isn't it? Quick? Thanks. Hey girl, just get going. No one can hack as fast as him. Oh. Alright. It sounds like things might not be going so well uh, in this area. The bloody handprints might indicate that. But, you know, let's hope for the best. Maybe someone was just finger painting. It could be. Ah, we're back here. Alright, so that's what the other side of this door is. Well, no, we did go through that door. And there was a dinosaur on the other side of this door. And that dinosaur is still here. Hello. Oh, nothing happened for this one? Well, I was kind of hoping all of them would work. It's a large room. I will I will say that while the uh, the fully polygonal environments is you know it's a an impressive thing to do on a PS one. It is low detail enough that you know you're not really really sure what you're supposed to be looking at. Sometimes, like in a pre rendered environment, when it would like do a dramatic pan, there would be have a lot of detail, be a lot of stuff there. Here, there's not really much stuff. It's kind of an empty room. Actually, let me look at that again. Just says select the mix icon. Well, we could try the mix icon. What does it say about it? Mixing this with another medicine will allow you to multiply that item. Okay. So multiplier does exactly what it says. Do you want more than one of these? You can use this to make that happen. I will take an aid, yes. Well, can I pick this up? Yeah, I can. Uh, but maybe I need to replace something to actually take it. Still nothing happening. Hmm, and what's happened? Is that a, is that dino asleep? Is it a dead dino or a sleepy dino? It is a sleepy dino. That is a s sleeping dino. Dino is having a nap. I woke up dino. If I go out and back in, will I go back asleep? It probably won't be. It probably won't be. I'm sorry, I interrupted your nap. It's not wasn't my it's not my intention. Yep, another sleepy dino. It's nap time for dinos. Chemical manuals. 
Excuse me, Dino. I need to read this. It's the brochure of a pharmaceutical company. Will I read? Yes. The Dino will, uh, will be patient while I do this. New product descriptions. Recovery 8, and 8, Intensive Fire Multiplier. The four chemicals listed above feature our company's latest advancements. They're designed to perform exceptionally, particularly on the front lines, where only the minimum amount of equipment is accessible. Features by mixing chemicals, the following two types of supplies can be recovered. Recovering type quickly recovers lost vitality. An aesthetic type applied to the head of a bullet or needle can put the target to sleep. Okay, I can put the dinos back to sleep then. Supplies that are produced by the chemical mixing can be made even more effective with additional mixing. What is this over here? I do not have a number. There are two dinos in here. I guess the other one came in through that door. I do have one. Is this H? It is H. I will. Hmm. Well... The code is... We see what the code disk is telling me. We have the code. We have the key. I don't know if I know what it's telling me here. <laughs> um, I need to input the password. I... Mm, um, I mean, I don't... Do I subtract the key letters? Because that would leave H, E, A, D. I mean, at least it's a word. Okay, that is what it is. Chief's room. I'm sure the chief... If... A survivor. Are you from the rescue team? Uh, I... Yes, yes I am. Do you know where I can find Dr. Kirk? Kirk? That fool. What's he plotting now? What are you talking about? Here. Take this. What's this for? I, I don't know. Told me. Extremely vital. We got Saul. It's a panel that can unlock an electronic lock. Well, unfortunately, the chief did not last long. Assuming this is the chief. Can I look at him? Doesn't seem that I can look at him. Ooh, buckshot. So, if I equip... We have five of these. Okay, disc N. But we don't have the key. Commemorative medal is displayed here. There are two slots under the frame. Ooh, okay. This is where we can put panel keys. Should I put a panel key here? Well, maybe if I could, it would be automatic. Oh, no! Well, she's very calm about the situation, so that's a good thing. Shots don't seem to really be doing anything. Can I get to the door? Okay, yeah, I can. Kind of bouncing off of it. Not doing too well, though. All right, let's uh, use our med pack. Am I bleeding? No, I'm not bleeding. All right, well, 
Um, we got a key that apparently is important. We also know that Dr. Kirk is a fool, according to the chief. I mean, granted, if there was some sort of a catastrophe and I was dying and bleeding out and someone found me, I would probably just, you know, if I'm dying, might as well just have some fun and make stuff up. Saying, that Dr. Kirk, he knows not what he does. And then, the, you know, the rescue team will wonder, what am I talking about? It's a mystery. A memo from an antenna operating engineer. Ah, yes. I, I too enjoy the the workplace where all of the employees write down journals to leave around so you can find them. As a result of tonight's experiment, a strong magnetic storm may occur. Consequently, the communication department will close at 6 p.m. At that time, the antenna will be temporarily stored. To prepare for the emergency, be sure to check the weapon storage locker in the lounge. You can unlock it with the combination 7687. Recently, inexperienced guards have been assigned here, and a, co a common problem is that they do not how to use our overly complex key system. Here are some, some points that may not be clear in the manual. Make sure that your staff becomes familiar with this important information. After you set the DDK to the door's locking device, you'll be asked to enter the password code. You will then need to derive the code by using the basic elimination rule. Okay, this is the tutorial on what we were supposed to do. Eliminate the key letters to reveal the correct code. Be sure to try this out by setting an actual DDK to the door locking device. For example, code oxypine key XYZ. In the above case, the correct password would be open. So, which do you think is weirder? This locking system or the chess piece locking system? I'm not really sure which one is weirder. The chess piece locking system at least is kind of fun. It's whimsical. Okay, once we get the antenna activation key. Now, okay, so it said 7687, right? The problem is, is that there are two dinos in that room. We could try. See if the dinos are friendly to us. One of them's out now. Remodel my handgun to a Glock 35 by using this? What is that? I can't even tell what that's supposed to be. Powerful kick. Whoop, the other one's coming. I'm bleeding. Was there another exit out of this door? I don't think there was, actually. No, there was. There was, there was a somewhere else that we could have gone. This Around here. Let's try going back here. I will take. So that thing I picked up... Okay... Part, okay, so it can make the 40 S and W bullets usable. Cannot be used for the equipped weapon. Okay, let me handgun. Handgun slides. Okay, so now the 40 S and W bullets are usable. Are my current parabellum 
bullets still usable with the handgun custom? I hope so. It'll be a problem if they're not. This is locked. Okay. Can I slide in here? No, it doesn't look like this vent is openable. Hmm. What does this sign say? Restricted area. It's the antenna room. Alright, so... If I have the antenna key, I can go back in there. But for right now, I don't. Um, I guess the only thing to do is to go downstairs. Hopefully I'm not actually expected to fight that T-Rex. Like, maybe I, like, shoot him a bunch of times and he drops an item. I hope not, because I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm guessing that you're not. I'm just gonna make it an assumption. Well, I did get a new key from the chief. So I guess I'll be able to use that downstairs. And so this one was... Was this one locked? Which one was this? Office hallway. No, I think we went in here. Right. Nothing's still happening with that. I've unlocked the shutters near the entrance. One more thing. I just caught a glimpse of something on the monitor that looked human. It should be somewhere near the front of the training room. So, check there first. When you say look human, do you mean a human? Is that what you mean? Or do you mean something else entirely? Okay, we have the key for the end. We don't have the code for the end, though. Yeah, we don't have... We do not have the code. I do not have the entrance key. Yes, that's correct. This is a room with a with a dino in it. But I think that th when I go out the door from this room, it makes me save. So that's a good it's a good room to be in. Okay, so I should go out the um, go out this way. I guess. Alright, just keep going around. Well, there is a door I could go through. Can I... Just looking around to see, can I make it to that red glowing room from here? I'm not sure. Control room 1F. Well, when I was in the control room, I wasn't able to go in through the other door. So let's try that now. Hello. No, we need the ID card for that. I'm sure all our buddy will be fine here. Uh, I don't think anything's gonna happen there. Well, that went badly. Am I, am I bleeding? Uh, doesn't look like it. What's the deal with this place anyway? What's the deal with the dino base? Why are there dinos on the dino base? Just can't figure it out. 
these dinos, they're having a crisis. Oh, sh maybe I should go up into the vent. How would it be if I did that? See, I'm not really sure how to get to that glowing room. I can see there's a door on the left side, but there's nothing actually... It doesn't... Like, there's not, a, like, a hallway. It's just, like, an empty space on the left side. So is that a, a place I just haven't been in yet? I suppose. Um, our guy did say that he opened up the shutters somewhere, but I'm not sure where that is. Nah, I took damage, so let's not save there. If I go to map here... Okay, so there I am on the map. We got that little vent bridge that appears there. Um, we can try going back this way and see if maybe that can take us to where we need to go. So that goes back here. And that door to, uh, to the side is locked or is it still locked? It is still locked. Oh no, danger! Is this a QTE? I'm not really sure what that was. doesn't see I'm not hobbling so maybe that was just a QTE maybe it didn't actually do any damage to me um, all right looks like I'm getting closer to the glowing room but it doesn't look like there's a door on the map between this room and the next I wasn't able to get inside like this uh, fenced in area. I don't think I... Can I still... No, I cannot. I still cannot open that. Now it looks, seems like I'm moving away from it. Though, po maybe possibly this hallway down around the south could lead up to it, but again, I don't see a door that leads into it. It's the only problem. So this is back where we were near the beginning, where uh, we lost track of our CO. Who knows where he is now? He's just hanging out. He got knocked out of the island into the ocean. He got back onto the shore, but he's like, What? I'm not going back onto that island. It's full of dinosaurs. It's dangerous. I want nothing of that kind of crisis. All right, here's the power room. So this room is adjacent to the red glowing room. But there's like, there's no door that connects them. And if I had a battery, I would be able to charge it here. I do not have a battery. So it doesn't really seem that this direction is getting me any closer to where I need to be. I did get that one key from the chief. Uh, can we... Look at, let's see, panel one. 
Panel key one and two. Hmm. There was that thing in the chief's office where it said you could put them. But usually in these kinds of games, if you can use a key, it happens automatically. I guess there's the chance that maybe you're supposed to do it manually, but that's usually not how these go. And then the T-Rex attacked me, and I'm not sure how I was going to do that with the T-Rex attacking me. I guess we could go back to that room. I don't know if that's what we need to do. but I'm pretty sure that the answer of what we're looking for does not seem to be in this area. Fortunately, the dino will wait for us to do this. So which one is closer to where we need to go? Um, there we want to go here, and then we can take the stairs up to the next floor. I mean, possibly we might go into that room, and maybe the T-Rex is gone. Maybe the T-Rex is not a permanent Rex. It's only a temporary Rex. You, you get you get it you under you understand Shh. nope I tried to be quiet I didn't want to wake him Okay, it's gone. For now. Two slots where panel keys can be inserted. Alright, so do we have to do this manually? I guess so. Panel here that accepts a numeric code. Well, I don't have a numeric code. I, I, I feel that should have been the code. But, um, alright, so coming back here wasn't something we actually needed to do either. Because uh, we don't have the six-digit number that we need to open this up. Take back the two keys. Hmm. All right. Was there anything else in here? Small objects that are neatly placed. Various miniatures. They seem to be weapons. This is Hobby. Collecting miniature weapons. Alright, so there is something there, and we have the two keys, we just don't have the six-digit number. Now, when I came back down, the last thing that actually happened... ...was that we were over here, and we got a message from our guy, who said that he had opened something up, and that he saw on the cameras there was a something that looked human and maybe I should check it out and that's why this room in the center started glowing but I don't know how you would get there like um, I don't think you can go to the second floor and drop down onto it I didn't see any holes up there 
So I appear to be a bit stuck on that. But we have hit an hour anyway, so I guess that would mean this has been an hour of of, of Dino Crisis. Um, as we have touched down on the island looking for this mad science doctor who was said to be dead, but I guess not because we're here to get him. Uh, we're here to repatriate him, as it said at the beginning. And things have gone wrong because one member of our team was ki killed by a T-Rex. The other member is MIA. And that first member that was killed was uh, had the radio, so we can't leave. We're now being assaulted by raptors and occasionally by a T-Rex. Uh, this definitely does have that old RE gameplay of running th from room to room, trying to find the next one you have to get to. And, uh, you know, maybe deciding on whether you want to use your ammo to fight enemies, or maybe if it would be a better use to just sort of run by them. Um, though the dinos do seem to be much more capable than zombies. Um, the only thing right now, like I said, is that I am not sure how to get to this room that the game wants me to go to. There must be some passageway that leads there that I'm not seeing. Um, as it is, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, I, I haven't been on the edge of my seat exactly. Um, so I think probably... Since I'm not entirely sure how I feel, I guess that probably means that the uh, that the the score to give it would be a Meg. I'll give it a Meg with her her giant sunglasses hiding her her thoughts as well as her permanent smile. Did not really have haven't really come to uh to a decision yet on on the Dino Crisis. I'm not sure about it. Hard to say at this point. Um, but that has been our hour-long look at a PS1 survival horror game, even though I'm playing it on the PC. Uh, a game that certainly a number of people like and put together two very popular things at the time. You have survival horror, you have dinosaurs. How can you go wrong? Um, I definitely see the advancements in gameplay that uh, over the the PlayStation 1 RE games. Um, not much sound is there. I just something that I was just thinking about, but if you think about the RE, the uh, PlayStation 1 RE games, they had a lot of music tracks, like every different room would have its own, its own audio, tr its own music, right? That was always something I kind of liked about those games, is like every time you went into a different room, you had a completely new music track, like a theme for the room. I'm just thinking about, I've not really noticed much music happening in this game. Just a lot of, a lot of silence, really. Well, that's been our look. I'll need to think about whether or not I want to come back to this. And if I do, I probably will want to look up how do you get to this room that has something human around it. We'll see. That's been our look at Dino Crisis.